Hello and welcome back to my channel PCK for a new video. Today it's Crotus Computer again with the Black Deal 1 for 885 euros, the Black Deal 2 for 1260 euros, the Black Deal 3 for 1285 euros, the Black Deal 4 for 2050 euros and the Black Deal 5 for 2200 euros. If you recently bought a ready-made PC without Windows and wanted to get an activation key, then please take a look at the link in my video description at my partner VIPS CD keys because there you can save a full 25% on Microsoft products with the discount code PCK. You can pay very conveniently via instant bank transfer, Visa, PayPal and so on. In my case I chose PayPal because this was the quickest option for me. You will then be automatically redirected to your user account and can view the code there. Now copy it, search for the Windows Task Activation setting, paste the code there and you will have an activated Windows. For more information and products, please take a look at the video description. You can see that this video is not like usual, where I just take a video suggestion, but I just make it completely transparent. Crotus wrote to me and said, yeah, we're doing a few black deals for Black Friday, so to speak. Would you like to make a video about it, because they're supposed to be pretty good value for money? And before anyone asks, no, I won't get a cent for it, he just sent me the offers in advance. I was able to look at them and can rate them accordingly. It could also be that they are bad offers and I'll show them to you accordingly. We also have people in the community who have simply been waiting for these offers, even specifically for Krotos. We have a ticket system where you can make list requests and some even wrote, yes, I'd rather wait for the offer from Krot and then we'll see. You can see that quite clearly here. Here is one of these tickets from our ticket system. You can see that there are quite a few open here too. So, if you want to have any PCs put together, be it just a list that you can build yourself or you want it built ready, you can just ask us directly. Here, for example, someone wrote in the ticket, you don't usually see that. I actually wanted to check with Croto on Friday to see if they had any offers, otherwise I would be happy to get in touch with you afterwards. So, people are really keen on offers from this shop and that's why we're doing it today. We're not doing it as meticulously as usual, but we're looking at the things. I'll take a rough look, show you a price point and then you can decide for yourself whether you want to buy it or not. The thing is, I only have the prices up to today. Today is November 27. It's of course possible that some hardware prices will drop on Friday, which I don't think will happen, but it can happen. The lists can therefore still change. So look at the video description, click on the lists, see if anything has changed for the better or worse and then you can buy the PC or not. But let's start with the Black Deal 1 for 885 euros. Let's start with the case. This is the Indoff Ventum 200R. It's a completely normal mesh front case. It's not particularly big, don't even think about putting any big graphics cards in there, that wouldn't fit, but the case does have a clock, a glass panel and four fans, one in the back, three in the front. The airflow is there accordingly. In terms of design, it doesn't have any light fans or anything like that, but it does its job. We have the Ryzen 5 5600, which is of course quite a bit older and unfortunately only has a 6 core. That means you can stream with the thing if you use the graphics card, yes, but I would really use it mainly for gaming. Furthermore, the possibility of upgrading later is, yes, very limited. Theoretically, you could throw a 5800X3 on it, but I don't know whether that's worth it at current prices. So you just have to be aware of the price point. You buy it, you'll enjoy it for a while. If it ever comes to the point of, hey, I want to upgrade something, it's just going to be tight. Be it the case alone or the processor socket, the graphics card is an Asus Dual Radeon RX 7700 XTOC. Here you always know exactly which graphics card you're getting, which is why you can also decide on the design point. The 7700 XT is good for Full HD and VO HD gaming. Now you have to be careful here, of course. In Full HD it can happen that the processor has a bit of a bottleneck which is why I just mentioned that you should maybe upgrade it. In WQHD this doesn't happen so much. You can also play 4K games with it, for example, a bit of Valorant Counter-Strike and the like. That still works, but you're not buying a box for 800 euros for 4K gameplay. So if you're playing in Full HD or WCK HD, the graphics card is fine in combination with this processor. It also depends on the game. FPS test is in the video description. As far as RAM goes, we get 32GB DDR4-3600MTS. So in that price range, I think 32 gigabytes is good. It should be a given somewhere. 3600 MTS, however, is not a given. Most of the time, 3200s go in. For you, that means that it's completely fine. The motherboard is an MSIB 550A Pro. It's not a special motherboard, but it's full ATX, has expansion options, has a fair number of USB ports and isn't one of those cheap micro ATX crappy boards that just goes in there, but something sensible and you can upgrade to it, as I said, 
a 5800X3D shouldn't be a problem. The SSD is an 88 Legend 851TB N2 Pi Express SSD. It has a read rate of 5000, a write rate of 4500, which is more than enough in terms of speed, you'll have to manage 1TB yourself. But at 885 euros it's just fine. The CPU cooler is an Indoffer 5, which is more than enough for the processor. If you want to upgrade the processor, you could theoretically use a configurator or add one yourself. Get a bigger fan or cooler. It's enough for the processor though. The power supply is an Indoff Vero Bronze 600 watt. Yes, unfortunately it's just a bronze power supply in that price range, but 600 watts is enough. In terms of quality, it's okay too nothing special i wouldn't install something like that in my private life but i have completely different requirements technically speaking it's sufficient for the system the thermal paste we see that quite often these days so i'm not going to talk about it all the time and windows 10 and windows 11 are just a trial version just buy a key to activate windows and then you're good to go the drivers and so on are all pre-installed on crotus let's take a look at the list here we have the ssd the processor the ram the graphics card the mainboard the thermal paste the cpu cooler the case and the power supply and we're loading the total price at 844 euros and 81 cents and the system costs 885 euros you've got a surcharge of 40 euros for assembly compared to building it yourself which I think is completely fair, especially in that price range. It often happens that these things cost an additional 150 euros or at least 100 euros. Now we have 40 euros here, the other PCs will be of interest. But this is actually a good deal for Black Friday. I have just told you about the bottle link issue. If you have a WQHD monitor, you should be happy with it. With full HD you have to make a few compromises, but it is actually a pretty good system. It is always difficult to say with 800 euros or 900 euros PCs that this could be better and that could be even better. You have just seen the price and there wasn't much more to it. Let's take a look at the second one. This is the Black Deal 2 for 1260 euros. The case is an Enderfile Signum 300 ARGB. This already includes RGB lighting. The case is a tad bigger, has three RGB fans in the front and one in the back. It has a bit of bling and there is airflow too. The glass panel and mesh front also fit. The processor is an AMD Ryzen 5750F. It's only a 6 core, but a very powerful 6 core. You can also upgrade it later. Theoretically, you could put a 7800X3D or even a 9800X3D on it, because the socket is already prepared for it. The graphics card is an as RX 7900GE Challenger 16GB. Here, too, you know what you're getting. The 7900GE is between a 7800XT and 7900XT from AMD. It's actually a good card for WCOHD and 4K gaming. It always depends on the titles, as I said. After that comes the 7900XT and 7900XTX, which of course have even more power. If you want to play typical story titles and are happy with, let's say, 60 to 80 FPS in 4K, then yes, go for it. And if you want to do a lot of racing, Nvidia is a good choice anyway but just look at the FPS in the video description. As for the RAM, we'll be seeing more of that now. I'll tell you everything about it. It has 32GB 6000 MTS and DDR5 RAM with CL30 timings. That's exactly how we would always install it. 32GB is completely fine. 6000 MTS over the AMD specification and C30 timings on top of that. Yes, that's how we usually do it. There are two A16GB bars. The motherboard is a Gigabyte B650 Eagle Axe. We'll go into that very quickly now. We have cooled voltage converters and 4 RAM banks. 3 SSDs can be installed here. This is where the graphics card goes in. You have 3 expansion slots for a USB expansion card, capture card, whatever. As for the connections, we have 6 USB 2.0 microphone and headphone jacks, 2 USB 3.1 ports, a network port, USB Type-C, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth antenna ports, and the antennas are included. This means you have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth with this motherboard. You probably won't use the PS2 port, or the onboard graphics ports either. It's not a high-end board, and it's not a high-end chipset. But you don't want that at this price point, so that's totally fine. The SSD is again the 1TB SSD, as we've just talked about. The Indoff Fera 5A RGB, this time with lighting, is actually sufficient for the processor. If you think about upgrading the processor, get a different cooler, it'll be fine. The power supply is an MSI Mac A750 GB PCI Express 5750 Watt Gold, 7-year manufacturer's warranty, 80 plus gold certified, fully modular, even comes with the 12 volt high power connection for the new NVIDIA graphics cards or the new connector. You don't need it in this case because it's an AMD card and it still uses the old connectors, but it's included. Again this thermal paste and again only a trial version pre-installed with drivers and so on. Let's take a look at the list. Here we have the SSD, the processor, the RAM, the graphics card, the motherboard, the thermal paste, the CPU cooler, the case and the power supply. And that brings us to a total price of 1274 euros and 41 cents and the system costs 1260 euros.
And now we have a case where it is cheaper than building it yourself and I think the configuration is okay. The thing is, if you want to play full HD with it, it's more or less nonsense, because then the processor would limit some titles. But from WQAD or 4K onwards I'm not worried at all. Do you want to stream? Get an 8-core processor. There's a 6-core processor in here now. I just wanted to say that. Or you can use the graphics card, but then you'll lose a bit of performance again. Now we have the Black Deal 3. This is the same PC as the Black Deal 2, just with a different graphics card. So, as you can see, everything has stayed the same here. But if you'd rather go with NVIDIA, you can get a GameW GeForce RTX 4070 Super Ghost 12GB. Again, it's also suitable for WCAD and 4K gaming, of course. It only has 12GB though. It depends on the title, how much is filled up and how much isn't. There is also an FPS test in the video description. Let's take a look at the list. Here we have the SSD, the processor, the RAM, the graphics card, the motherboard, the thermal paste, the CPU cooler, the case and the power supply. And we load the total price at 1,274 euros and 10 cents and the system costs 1,285 euros. We now pay 10 euros on top of the price for assembly and warranty and so on. I think that's a good deal too. There is no other way to say that the thing isn't 200 euros cheaper than building it yourself or something. There are sometimes offers like that, of course, but it's just fair. And here we have the Black Deal 4 for 2050 euros. The higher the price, the larger the case. The case is an Indof AR700 ARGB. It also has a glass panel and a mesh front. It's not that great. But the cooker serves its purpose. It has four illuminated ARGB fans. It's fine. The processor is an ARM Ryzen 7800X3D. Yes, of course, it's not a 9800X3D. You can try to buy one now, it's going to be a bit difficult. And just because the 9800X3D exists doesn't mean that the 7800X3D is terrible. Of course the 9800X3D has more power and you can overclock it. Absolutely clear, but it's still a top gaming processor. As for the graphics card, we get an ASROX 7900 XTX Phantom Gaming OC 24GB, which is currently AMD's top model, perfect for WQ and 4K gaming. If you want even more racing power or more graphics power, your only option is the 4090. For riding, the 4080 is super. They're about on the same level, but otherwise a top graphics card. Here we have that typical RAM again, which we just talked about. For the motherboard we get an MSI Mac B650 Tomahawk WFI. I mean, I've shown it a few times already, but I'll show it to you again anyway. Cooled voltage converters, 4 RAM banks, SSDs can be installed here, 2 more SSDs here. The graphics card goes in here and you have 2 expansion slots for capture cards and so on. As for the connections, we have 7.1 with Torslink WLAN and Bluetooth antenna connection, 4 USB 3.0 ports, 2 USB 2.0 ports, 3 USB 3.1 ports, USB Type-C is also included, network connection, the onboard graphics connections yes, theoretically you can use them. Please use the ones on the graphics card. It's a solid board, it's not a high-end chipset or anything, but it's perfectly sufficient for the processor. As for the SSD, we get a Kingston KC2TB. It has a read and write rate of 7000 megabytes per second. It is one of the best SSDs under PCI Express 4.0 that you can get. 2 terabytes is more than sufficient at a price of just over 2000 euros. First of all, you need more storage, but you can always expand later. You have the motherboard for it. The CPU cooler is still an air cooler, not a water cooler. So if you want water cooling, you would be in the wrong place. This is an Endofus 5A RGB CPU cooler. I've already tested one. It's more than enough for the processor, especially in this huge case with the thick airflow. It also has RGB lighting, but it's not a fancy water cooler. The power supply is an MSI Mac A850 GLP Express 5850 watt gold so 100 watt more than the other PC. It also has the new connector, even if it isn't needed here because the graphics card doesn't have this new connector, but 850 watt is more than enough and the connector is fine if you want to switch to an NVIDIA card later. And here again the heat light paste, and again a trial version pre-installed. If we look at the list, we have the SSD, the processor, the frame, the graphics card, the motherboard, the thermal paste, the CPU cooler, the case and the power supply. And we load the total price of 2,063 euros and 20 cents and the system costs 2,050 euros. So 13 euros below the DIY price without shipping costs and all the bells and whistles included. Yes, that's a fair offer. I can't really complain, it's fine, and this would be the last in the bunch, the Black Deal 5 for 2200 euros. In the end, everything has stayed the same, only the graphics card has changed. It's now an Nvidia card, the Palette GeForce RTX 4080 Super Jetstream OC 16GB. If you want a bit more ray racing performance than the 7900 XTX, just get the graphics card. Of course there are also titles that are more optimized for AMD, see Far Cry.
but there are also titles that are more optimized for Nvidia, I can't think of any right now, but they exist. Believe me, I only play 3 games, I play Overwatch, PUBG and Dead by Daylight and Far Cry. That's about it, but yes, of course there is also an FPS test in the video description, then we would have the list. Here is the SSD, the processor, the RAM, the graphics card, the motherboard, the thermal paste, the CPU cooler, the case and the power supply. And we're loading up on a total price of €2,262.30 and the system costs €2,200, so €62 Euros less than the DIY price. Right now, as this video is being made and not as you are watching the video, it's a fair deal. Clearly, there wasn't much focus on appearance here, sure, you have a bit of RGB lighting and so on. It's all very functional, simple. The RAM doesn't have any lighting or anything, but it has performance and I think all the PCs are really fair, of course, otherwise there wouldn't be any Black Friday deals. If you find any alternatives, no matter where, then send them to the comment section below on YouTube or to our Discord server. I'll be happy to pin it, no problem at all. I just don't have the opportunity to look right now, but it can of course happen that one or two SEs have even better offers. Yes, and then we'll spread the word, of course. But anyone looking for a system right now and wanting a reasonable price performance ratio can go for it. But what we still have to note, and I definitely wanted to mention it, is the 7800X 3D, that's the price curve. You can see that on June 9, 2024 it was around 330 euros. Now we're almost at 480 euros. That obviously plays into the hands of a system integrator if they bought these processors and such at an earlier point in time. And my videos always refer to the current situation. You want to build a PC today, you can only get the components for this price and that is what the SI is offering you and compared to the bargain list and the offer, the offer is good. If we talk about the offer, let's say 3 or 4 months ago, it would be nonsense, but it's fine. And that's what I do all the time on my channel. I always do things that are up to date. I don't think back and say, oh, 6 months ago everything would have been far too expensive, but it's just the current situation. Feel free to write me your opinion in the comments. Also if you have found a better offer in case YouTube blocks the links. It can happen, just write the title, then I'll google it myself and then pin it or something, right? It could really be that a good offer comes along, but as of now things are good. Well, that's it for this video, thank you for watching, give it a thumbs up if you liked it, until then, goodbye and ciao ciao.